Do you know how a good morning start? <laughs> of course, with Kira that wake me up. Wonderful. <laughs> good morning, writers. Well, let's pick some colors, but with style. Today I'll go cheap. You go always cheap, my dear Ben from the past. So today's star will be this trash can. Another trash can. Of course, a wonderful bucket paint. Another bucket paint, my wonderful fake Montana cans bucket paint. And just one Montana black can. The white. By the way, for this video, I tried to go cheap also on the caps. I declogged this cap with this. This is acetone. I put them in the acetone something like 24 hours. They should be not clogged anymore. We will see today. Everything is ready to be transported, always with style. I have three bags today, but it's not a problem because today we have one, two, three, four wheels and a trunk. Much later. Hi, Miss Herreras. Hi. Hi, Miss Herreras. Hi. Much, much later. Do you remember these pieces? We will search for another spot, maybe clean. these uh, stairs. Not the safest uh, thing in the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> what an athlete I am. We found... Are you, oh, oh. We found some walls. This one, this one on the opposite side, and also this other room. You can see here. Everything cool, but it's time to get started. Proper and cheap tool to mix the paint. Let's mix it. The cheapest kind of first first lines technique with the finger. <laughs> As always, first first lines technique to get the proportion and only after this I start sketching the letters. I didn't finish sketching yet and I already have some problems. First of all, I left uh, not enough space for the throw up E, but I will fix it uh, in some way, somehow. And I finished all the cans, but uh, I'll take another one that I wouldn't use for, for the sketch because it would be an outline can or a background can, but I have no alternative choices. And I don't know how to manage with the T, but uh, yeah, graffiti problems, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the interruption, but this is an historical moment. Can you tell us? Also in Italian, I will make the subtitles. Essendo che abbiamo voglia qui di sperimentare, e il Tiove mi ispira ogni tanto, scriveremo Kire, but con la ia troppo. I don't know if you get it. Kira, that is this white guy, wild style, mucca chi da morta. <laughs> we'll make a throw up I, like my throw up E, the original one that I've been doing for a year. A throw up I. Kira is a biter, Kira is a biter, Kira is a toy, Kira is a, a toy. He will beat me now. Don't, don't smash anything on my head, please. Please, please, please. And basically this is what me and Kira do approximately every Sunday. Okay, dear biter, at least you gave me the title of this video. Kira stole my throw up E. The situation is getting annoying. But not a bit, but you should I want the royalties. No words. What the fuck are you? Come here, come here, come here. Okay, let's stop doing bullshit. It's time to finish the sketch. So this is the finished first lines. These are the finished first lines. Anyway, this is the sketch. It's freestyle. I have to say that I really like it. I will add uh, some arrows here and here, but directly with the outline. I tried a different kind of trophy because I had not enough space between the V and the N. So I had to adapt the trophy in this kind of 
shape it could be cool i just have to be careful with the outline now it's time to fill the piece no okay i was joking i'll do the background first for two reasons first of all is a shaded background so when you have to do a shaded background the best choice is to do it before the filling because you know shading is a dirty process and if you do the filling first you will make uh, the filling really dirty and second reason is that this fucking ugly man is using my roller but now it's time to see kira transporting his stair as you know kira is a little bit short so he needs uh, proper tools to reach uh, the upper part of his pieces I really hope that uh, you will not tear down the wall, honestly, because I am on this side painting here. How possible is that I'm gonna die today? Write it in the comments. For the background, I will use this trash can that from the label, you will not tell that it's trash, but it's actually a trash can from Ambrosol. I have to say that these cans, I mean, this brand is really cool because for 2 euro 50, you buy a really solid can. of focus okay in focus buon appetito after that wonderful panino with bresaola it's time to fill the piece with this wonderful basically because for free dark brownish red well 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 i'm done with the i'm done with the filling except with the throw up in that uh, i will paint in pink or at least this is the purpose because more than uh, pink color it looks like poop after after five minutes of mixing the paint it looks uh, again like bucket paint and not poop so it's time to fill this drop e yes I forgot to snap my finger also with the filled throw up ink because I am a pro YouTuber. I've done the filling of the throw up ink with a sort of shading. I used this glove <laughs> as you can see. And here, here and here I have done these uh, easy drippings. So it's outline time with this wonderful white snow white actually from Montana Cans. Will it work? I don't really know because Eras is having some problems. He's a bit pissed because the white is, uh, is not covering well so i hope that i will not have the same problem what the hell is going on over there ah everything uh, normal really cool background can you make the background for me next time as you can tell i am a serial procrastinator ah let's make this fucking outline So, do you remember that in the beginning of this video I told you that today I was gonna try the level 1 that I declogged with the acetone? Well, they don't work at all, I tried two of them, there is a third one, but honestly I will skip to a level 2. At the beginning uh, seems that the cap is gonna work, but at the end they get clogged, so I skipped to a level 2. A level 2 that, by the way, I declogged with acetone, but since uh, uh, its valve is a bit bigger it should work uh, better, so let's try it out. works definitely better so i found out that the clog with acetone super skinnies like the level one might not work properly as always i leave the hardest line or lines at the end and this time i even divided it in two lines because it was too long to do it one line and anyway nobody will notice the difference at the end so who cares these two errors that i'm making come out from the shadow i wanted to do them only with the outline color like this one but i feel them because i feel that like this it's much much better Yo, 
screenwriters. As you can already see, I am done. And I'm the first today. Eras is still working, but he is practically... Practically? Does it exist in English? I don't know. It's basically done, but I finished as first. So this is the final result. But as always, let's analyze it. The balancing of this piece is really nice in my opinion. It is based on three different power lines. First, the V and the T are pointing, respectively, up on the left and up on the right. Then there are these two symmetrical arrows, even if they aren't the physical sticks but composition elements, they give this cool lateral thrust on each side. The bottom part of the V is pointing down to the left and the bottom part of the T down to the right. Again, symmetry is the key. Last but not least, this stick with the N placed on it works like a keystone. All the power lines start from the N, basically. Ah, I love making letters. It's just wonderful. And talking about it, the V is really cool and super classic at the end. The same about the T, except for the arrows coming out from the shadows. Otherwise, the N is not my lower case classic N. I did this piece freestyle and it came out like this. I'm happy because I went out of my comfort zone a little bit. Also because I had to loop the N with the V on the right side of the N. That's something that I don't do usually. As I already said, I had to adapt the E in this triangle between the V and the N. It came out cool, but then I had another problem. Between the N and the T, there was an ugly hole in the lettering. I filled it with this chip. Cool, but then I had another problem. There was just one chip, so I had to balance it with this other chip coming out from the V. This setup is not perfect, but at least it works and I have to say that I like it. The colors are cool. This red and this pink fit together, and also the black of the background is nice, even if the background shape is not that cool in my opinion. There is not enough background at the bottom and under this arrow, and in general is a bit too confusing. I used a standard cap to do it, but uh, at the end maybe a fat would have been better. But whatever, I'm happy because this piece is so cheap. I used leftovers for sketching and a bucket paint to fill it, both for free. I paid the trash black can for the background, 2 euro 50 and the white Montana black for the outline 3 euro 50 so I spent 6 euros to make this piece and if you want to go cheaper and cheaper check this video basically I shared my 9 tips to go cheap in graffiti but keeping the quality of your pieces as high as possible anyway this is it for today guys I hope you like the piece subscribe to the channel leave a like and a comment and see you next time